question is, can you stack Tesla Moreland and IGF-1 LR3? And the quick answer is yes, absolutely. And a lot of people do. And the main reason why is because Tesla Moreland is going to target mainly visceral fat, VAT, visceral adipose tissue. And that's like the tough stuff that's kind of deep around your organs. And then IGF-1 LR3 is more about muscle growth and recovery. So when you stack them, you're basically getting your body to burn more fat while hopefully also building or preserving muscle at the same time. There is a little bit of a caveat with this, a couple things to pay attention to. So IGF-1 LR3, it can increase your IGF-1 levels pretty significantly. And what that can do is ramp up your appetite and sometimes mess with your blood sugar control. Tessamorelin, on the other hand, boosts natural growth hormone. And that can too raise your IGF-1 levels, but it tends to be in a more of a regulated way. And that tends to be why people can cycle Tessamorelin for larger amounts and for longer periods of time. So if you're running both, recommendation is to Start with moderate doses, don't go overboard, assess your response, assess your response. Things to look out for are watching for increased hunger and paying attention to how your blood sugar is doing, especially if you're prone to insulin sensitivity issues. But all in all, it's a solid stack for body recomposition. Just, just be smart and use reasonable dosing and monitor the response. So as always, if you haven't already, be sure to download my products. If you want to order these peptides, highly recommend Amino Asylum, discount code BV20 for 20% off your order. Thank you.